Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about extranuclear inheritance or cytoplasmic inheritance. We already know that in the nucleus, genes are present in the chromosome known as the nuclear genes and these are responsible for the inheritance of most of the traits from one generation to another. So they play a very important role in inheritance. But these are not the exclusive source of inheritance. Certain experiments were performed and these suggested that in addition to nuclear genes, there are also genes present in the cytoplasm both in prokaryotes and eukaryotes and these are known as the extranuclear or cytoplasmic genes and these are also responsible for inheritance of certain traits. So if we talk about eukaryotic genes these are of two types nuclear genes cytoplasmic genes. Nuclear gene shows the Mendelian pattern of inheritance and segregation Cytoplasmic genes do not show the Mendelian pattern of inheritance and segregation. Inheritance of nuclear genes are known as nuclear inheritance or non-cytoplasmic inheritance. But inheritance of cytoplasmic genes is known as cytoplasmic or non-nuclear inheritance. Result of reciprocal crosses in case of nuclear genes are same. That is, if we take two variety of any plant, plant 1 and plant 2. If we take female gamete from plant 1 and male gamete from plant 2, then the progeny will be the same if we take it vice versa. That is, female gamete from plant 2 and male gamete from plant 1. So, the result of reciprocal crosses are same. But in case of cytoplasmic genes, result of reciprocal crosses are different. On the basis of which we can tell that nuclear gene shows biparental contribution and both the parents contribute equally to any trait or character. But cytoplasmic genes shows uniparental contribution either paternal or maternal. These are mostly maternal. So now what we can tell that eukaryotic cells possess main complement of chromosome in the nucleus known as the nuclear genes and extra DNA molecules or chromosome is present in mitochondria chloroplast and in some cases endosymbionts. What are endosymbionts? These are the organisms that lives within the body or cells of another organism and both are benefited from each other or there is mutual benefit among each other. Example kappa particles, sigma particles. If we talk about prokaryotes, example in E. coli, then these possess a single main chromosome and it is not present in membrane bound organelle it is known as nucleoid plus these have extra DNA elements that is present in the cytoplasm and it is known as plasmids in case of E. coli. So now let us talk about characteristics of cytoplasmic inheritance. Cytoplasmic inheritance lack Mendelian segregation and typical Mendelian ratios. Characters that is inherited by cytoplasmic genes persist over many generations. And in case of the reciprocal crosses, different phenotypes of progeny are obtained. This shows uniparental inheritance of trait, either maternal or paternal, but mostly it is maternal. This does not show linkage. To nuclear linkage groups and assort independently. 
So now what is the definition of cytoplasmic inheritance? It is the inheritance of cytoplasmically located independent self-replicating nucleic acids. And these differ from the chromosomal genes by their location within the cell and have their own nucleotide sequences. The smallest heritable extra chromosomal unit is known as plasma genes and all of the plasma genes of the cell constitute the plasmon. So in case of the cytoplasmic inheritance, the in cytoplasmic genes that are present in the cytoplasm is responsible for the inheritance and it is independent, it is self-replicating nucleic acid and these differs from the chromosomal genes in their location because chromosomal genes are present in the nucleus but their location is in the cytoplasm. Extra nuclear inheritance by cellular organelles. It was first described by Carl Collins in 1908 and this inheritance was by chloroplast because DNA molecules are present in chloroplast. These chloroplasts are present in the cytoplasm of the cell and hence this type of the inheritance is known as extranuclear inheritance or cytoplasmic inheritance and he did an experiment in 4 o'clock plant, scientific name Mirabilis gelapa. He studied on the variegated variety of the Mirabilis gelapa. In this, in the different branches, different types of the leaves are present. In some branches, only green leaves are present. In some branches, white leaves are present and in some branches, variegated leaves are present which shows both green and white patches or mosaic of both the green and white. So what he showed that if the seeds that is obtained from the green branch, these give green progeny irrespective of whether it is pollinated from the pollens coming from white branch, green branch or variegated branch. Similarly, the seeds that is obtained from the white branch give only white progeny irrespective of any type of the branches from which the pollen grains is coming. In the same way, seeds obtained from the variegated branches give all the three types of the progeny green, white and variegated irrespective of the branches from which the pollen grains are coming and pollinating the female gamete or egg. Let us see this in detail. Phenotype of the egg bearing branch. If the phenotype of the egg bearing branch is white, this is the phenotype of the pollen bearing branch and if it is pollinated from the pollens coming from the white branch or the green branch or the variegated branch, the phenotype of the progeny is always white. Similarly, if the phenotype of the egg bearing branch is green and it is pollinated from the pollen coming from any type of the branch, white, green or variegated, then the phenotype of the progeny is green. And if the phenotype of the egg bearing branch is variegated and if it is pollinated from the pollens coming from any branch, white, green or variegated, the phenotype of the progeny will be all three types, variegated, green or white because cytoplasm present in the egg of the variegated branch contain all the three types of the chloroplast or plastid, white, green and variegated. So what we can conclude that the phenotype of the progeny always resembles the female parent. These are the female parent and progeny always resemble the female parent. If it's white, then white. If green, then green. And if variegated, then all the three types, variegated, green or white. So the genes that are concerned or that are responsible for the color of the leaves are located in chloroplast and this chloroplast is present in the cytoplasm. These are not present in the nucleus. So it is cytoplasmic inheritance and here egg contributes the cytoplasm 
along with the chloroplast. And pollen grains contains very little cytoplasm and these are mostly devoid of chloroplast. Hence, without chloroplast, pollen cannot affect the phenotype of the offspring. Therefore, female gamete or the egg is responsible for the cytoplasmic inheritance because mostly the cytoplasm is contributed by the egg which also contain the chloroplast and hence in this case it is known as the maternal inheritance. So this is all for today's video. In the next video we will discuss about the extranuclear inheritance by the mitochondria which is also a cellular organelles in which DNA is present. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.